Balloon Fiesta is New Mexico's most popular event. It is not even close. But back when it started, no one had any idea it would take off like it has. Here's News 13's Alex Goldsmith. Every year, hundreds of balloons take flight. A sea of special shapes, just part of the special sights of an event that brings hundreds of thousands of people to Albuquerque every year. And as Fiesta veteran Tom McConnell tells it, it all started with one man with a big dream. Sid Cutter. He was so enthusiastic. He was so up. He had, and he had ideas, and some of them were crazy. But many of them were not crazy because they actually happened. In April 1972, a radio station wanted to celebrate its 50th birthday in style. So Sid Cutter tried to bring enough balloons here to break the world record. Ultimately, 13 took off from what's now the Coronado Mall parking lot. So we didn't set a world's record that time. But a year later, Cutter lured the first World Hot Air Balloon Championships to Albuquerque. More than 125 balloons took off from the fairgrounds. It wasn't totally smooth sailing. What we didn't count on was how close it was to the military base. So on that very first day, despite all our promises to the contrary, all the balloons went out onto Kirtland Air Base. There were growing pains in 1975, too. And the first day we took off, we flew right into a snowstorm, which gives you a hint about the February weather around here. So Fiesta was moved to October, where it's been ever since. And the event has grown along with Albuquerque. Welcome to Albuquerque, New Mexico, home of the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Special shapes joined the party in the late 70s. Balloon Glow was an instant hit in 1987. And in 1996, Balloon Fiesta Park became its permanent home. Four years later, Fiesta peaked with more than a thousand balloons participating. Here in little old Albuquerque. As established as it is, Fiesta has still faced challenges. 2001's event very nearly didn't happen because of 9-11. And they grounded all aviation in the United States. Well, balloons are av aviation. I looked for maybe a week or two weeks that we wouldn't have a balloon fiesta that year. Landing space concerns have forced organizers to cap the number of balloons allowed to register at 600. Even so, scores of people, both young and old, have kept the tradition burning bright. There's a kid in all of us. I mean, us adults wouldn't do this if there wasn't still a kid in, the, in there somewhere. Sid Cutter died from cancer three years ago, but his wife Jewel hopes his legacy will live on in the event he dreamed up. Right from the very beginning, it was a first-class event, and I want my husband to be remembered for that. Alex Goldsmith, KRQE, News 13. About 800,000 people come through the gates at Balloon Fiesta now, putting Albuquerque in the national spotlight every year and bringing millions and millions of dollars to the city. For all things Balloon Fiesta, including pics, past stories, and info on the event, just head to our Balloon Fiesta landing page on krqe.com.